This is just another review on the Ferrari 458 Spider Racing Wheel by Thunder, uh, by, sorry, by Thrustmaster. I've had a lot of comments about this. It's a really good racing wheel for the price. Uh, in the background here, it's on Best Buy for $120 Canadian at the time of this video. It's got a lot of cool features for the price. Uh, the next wheel up is quite expensive, and for all I game, uh, with the racing wheel, I wanted to make sure that, I mean, I didn't want to spend that much money. So this one fell uh, right into the price range. I've now had it since uh, springtime, since Forza Horizon uh, came out for the Xbox One, and I've used it ever since. I've had no problems with it. All the buttons work perfect. No complaints. I haven't had anything fall apart. It's been here the whole time. I've used it and abused it, and it works really, really well. So I just kind of wanted to go over the Forza Motorsport 6 demo. So first thing you want to do is you're going to want to turn on the Xbox with your steering wheel. You can go in and do a different configuration later. We're going to go into the Forza Motorsport demo. And while it's loading up, I'll uh, just kind of go over some of the features again with this. Again, this is a, a non-force feedback wheel. It has elastic bands or uh, a bungee cord as they call it, inside. You can actually change the tension of the bungee cord. This is something that I normally don't do. I turn off the Xbox, I turn it on, it seems to work flawlessly. You have your shifter up and shifter down. You actually have two buttons on the under underside for also shifting up or down. You have your A button, your B button, your X button, your Y button. Works just like a normal standard controller. You have your menu button, your start engine button, which is actually your D-pad. You then have this little here, which says uh, race, sport, traction. It's supposed to be your different modes that you put your car into. This actually either goes in or out of different screens, depending on, on what you want. There we are. Up here, it's ask, actually asking me if I want to uh, select the steering wheel, or you can use the controller. I'm going to select the steering wheel. When you're doing this, you want to make sure that you don't touch any of the controllers, uh, either the foot pedal, uh, steering wheel, any of the buttons, just kind of let it do its thing. What else to say? Uh, it's got a great grip to it. I've used it a lot. This grip hasn't been falling apart. It's still nice and soft. It's nice and clean. It doesn't grab a lot of dirt off your hands. The foot pedals work flawlessly. There's no real point to show you. There's only two of them on here, but they work great. I, again, no problems. So let's see here. While loading this up, is there anything else to tell you? Not really. It's, it's, it's a great controller. It works really well. So let's get, uh, I'll get this set up for the demo and I'll show you what it looks like while racing with that and give you a little bit of feedback on that. Okay, so I got uh, Forza all set up uh, with the steering wheel, all ready to race. Just want to let you know that this is a uh, steering wheel review for the Thrustmaster and not for Forza. So I don't plan on doing any video editing, this or that. I'm not a very good player, you'll notice that. So on with uh, a little bit more of the review. One thing with the steering wheel system, when you go to use it, if you want to chat with anybody, so you've got your, your, uh, your headset, you're going to actually have to plug it into your controller. There's no place anywhere to plug on this steering wheel for your chat pad or for your uh, headset. So what you'll need to do is while you're driving, you'll constantly have to turn this controller on and off. I haven't found a way to actually keep this controller on. It turns itself off automatically to save battery power. That being said, you'll be driving with your friends. All of a sudden, the sound will just stop out of the headset. For me, I actually hear their voice through the speakers. Once I hear their voice through the speakers, I look down and see that my uh, controller is turned off. Another thing which is really kind of weird with this game, and, and I don't know why they didn't set it up properly, is you can't take a look, you can't look around your vehicle. So with the controller, you can actually go around and actually view what's around your car. With the steering wheel, you can't. 
So when you're driving, you don't actually get to look left, right, um, or anywhere around your car. What you have to do is, uh, for this, I believe it's B button, you look directly behind you, but that's all you get. So if there's actually someone right beside you, you're not gonna know. Anyways, kind of just a, a little bit of information. If you do wanna use uh, your headset and chat with friends, you're actually gonna have to make sure that you leave it uh, plugged in the controller and keep an eye on your controller. What I try to do is every couple of minutes just move the stick left and right, and that keeps it awake uh, for that time. Otherwise, within, I think, 10 minutes, it automatically shuts off. Okay, so that being said, let me get into something here. All right, let's give this a try here, see how it works. The downshift, it actually has an up, has upshift on the car, so that's kind of odd. Even though uh, the steering wheel is actually labeled downshift on this side. So let's see how this works. There we go. So the steering wheel is very, very responsive. My driving is very, very horrible. But as you can tell, or hopefully you can see it, as I'm driving here, the steering wheel and, and the relation on the on the screen is nice. It feels very, very smooth. The bungee cords that they use in this, it's a nice touch. Uh, I mean, I do miss the force feedback in steering wheels, but, or in, in other steering wheels. My G27 was an amazing steering wheel, but unfortunately it doesn't work for the Xbox One. So I actually just traded that out for a, a grinder. <laughs> anyway, so nonetheless, all the buttons work flawlessly. Let's see if I'll give you an upside view. Really not much to show here except for my poor driving. I find that, oh geez, red line. All the buttons have a great feel to them. They're all in, in the right spots. Your thumbs can reach everything where you need to. I think all around for the price, I think it's a great steering wheel. For the average guy who just wants to get a steering wheel to play uh, Forza, uh, for the Xbox One, I think it's a great entry level. Uh, steering wheel and, and way to go. I mean, for a little over a hundred dollars, you can pick one up and you can play this. I mean, if this is what you really want, then you can spend the more money and get the, the higher end steering wheel. You can probably hear uh, me on the foot pedals. That's actually not the foot pedals itself. It's my race slippers that I have, and they're making all the. You can probably hear my pedals there. Shifting up again, and I'm slowly shifting down. Oh boy. Anyway, so that is the, the review. I I uh, just want to let you know that I still can't drive. I love these games. This game is fun. It's very fun. I, I will pick it up for sure. So, as with my last review. Let's see this thing do a burnout. Yes! That's what I'm talking about. If I had one of these cars, this is all I would do. Nothing else. I wouldn't wash it. I wouldn't do any maintenance. I'd just go in front of my house and do this. And after the police took away from me, I would cry. Anyway, thanks for watching my review. Uh, any questions, I'll try to answer them. And uh, yeah, definitely pick it up. It's a big thumbs up. I like it. And uh, go from there. All right, thanks for watching. Take care. Bye. I wish I could blow this thing up. Woohoo!